YouTube, this is Star Strike Duels today with Multi Monster Deals, and today we are going to be doing a Girgia deck profile. Now, I know this deck uh, has been pretty popular and a lot of people have been playing it, but I kind of want to just give my thoughts on the deck on some individual card choices that I have. Uh, I brought this deck to like a small box tournament and I did pretty well with it. I was able to take down a lot of like the meta decks, so I figured I must be doing something right. Uh, that's not like it was just lucky, then that would be kind of uh, sad. But anyway, guys, uh, yeah, I guess one card can mean the difference in the long run. So if you guys have any advice, feel free to leave them down in the comments below. And let's go ahead and just have a little discussion on Gear Gear. All right, everyone. So we're going to start off with first three Gear Gear armor. That's obvious. I'm not going to explain like the things that everyone runs, of course. Three Gear Gear arsenal. He's a great beast stick, and the reason why I like him late game especially is because he makes a good beater on his own, not only because he can special summon uh, Gear Gear armor. Then we have a 3 Accelerator, excuse the turtle racer in the middle, I could not find my 3 Accelerator everywhere. Uh, believe it or not, I played the whole tournament with only 2 Gear Gear Accelerator, and I didn't know, I guess it's because I built the deck fast and I didn't know, but... Um, and I was, I still managed to do well at the tournament with only two Gear Gear Accelerator, but ideally you need to have three because you want to see this as much as possible. So this is the third Gear Gear Accelerator. Um, three MK2 for your Gear 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 plays as long, um, as well as one a Gear Gear Ano. Uh, drawing this guy is kind of bad sometimes. Later it's not as bad because you can use him to bring out a level four, um, and then special summon Accelerator and go into combo plays or whatever, but you usually don't want to draw him. One of the main, um... Reasons you actually lose in this deck is drawing like your targets and then having your gear gear gears uh, be dead because your gear 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 gears are very important. So it kind of sucks when you draw those guys, but you know what happens. Um, if you don't draw your gear 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 gears, though, I hate saying that card. Um, yeah, tongue twister. Uh, the MK twos are actually not that bad on their own because they can special some other things and go into cool rank three. So yeah, going on to the spells, we run a one mind control. This is like the best card in the mirror match. Like. You don't understand, like, if, if your opponent goes first with gear gears, usually it's very hard for you to, like, play around, if, especially if they open up with, like, an armor and a gear gear gear. Um, but if you have this card, it can change your game so much. Like, I love it. Uh, one Soul Charge, I was originally playing two. However, I was drawing, like, double copies in my first hand, which I did not like, so I cut it down to one. Um, and you decked in a lot with this deck, so you draw into it enough. Uh, and you also run three copies of Upstart, so you do see it more often. Uh, it is a 37 count uh, deck. Two Mystical Say Typhoon. Uh, you guys saw my discussion that I just did on MST recently and why I think it's important to keep it, especially in this deck because it would die to skill drain. Uh, I still run Wiretap, as you'll see, but I do like the MST, especially because I was playing in local tournaments um, when there's more, uh, where there's more Rogue and stuff like that. Um, and then the Dark Hole... Uh, I still like this card because Gear Gear sometimes has trouble against big established fields and the Book of Moon because it, Book of Moon breaks soft locks and it's also really good uh, with armor, obviously. Uh, moving into the traps, run the three Gear Gear Gear. Let's see if I can get this. Um, three Gear Gear Gear. Um, one of the main cards in the deck, obviously. Like I love this card. When you draw it first turn, especially, and your opponent doesn't have a response, like it's just great. Um, three, a wiretap. A wiretap is a card that I recently talked about in a video too, along with MSC. This card is very powerful, not only to stop your opponent's traps, but also to stop your opponent's wiretap. So you have like these wiretap battles and stuff like that. So this card is just great. Um, I don't run the seven tools. I chose to run the two MST over the seven tools of the bandit. As I said, uh, you have to, uh, in the video previously, um, if you're going into a different event, you might want to consider running seven tools. It really consider uh, it really matters if you're going into a major or minor event. Um, and then we go into two a black horn of heavens. Uh, I love this card. Like it's basically another solemn warning, right? Um, two Phoenix chain. Um, in other decks, I really don't know how I feel about Phoenix chain right now, but it, I think it's really good in this deck, especially because it allows you to protect armor. So it's a really good card, obviously. 2D Prison, amazing against the hands and things like that. Just a good card in general. Uh, sometimes I set it out against the mirror match because it can be a slow card, but uh, it's great game one. Like, it's it's really never dead. Um, the only problem with it is it being slow, but, you know, you can always side it out. Uh, one Trap Trick, Trap Hole Nightmare. You do not need to run Mermelo to run this card. Like, it's a good card on its own. Obviously, uh, people can learn to play around it game two and three, especially against the mirror if they know you play it. So you might want to side it out. But game one, it does provide a pretty good uh, surprise factor. Uh, one breakthrough skill, I do like it. I like it because against hat, you know, they go into like one on one and stuff. So this card is really good against one on one. Um, and it's just a good card in general. Like I like breakthrough a lot, but it kind of like I, I used to like it a lot more at the beginning when prior was released, but then I cut it down to one. 
um, especially because I run the Phoenix chains too. Um, other one of staples, we have the Trento, the Bottomless, uh, the Compose, and the Warning. So as you can see, uh, a lot of traps, that's like a majority of the deck. Uh, going into the extra deck real fast, the only thing that I would consider running in the extra deck that I don't currently have is a Digusto uh, Emerald. I did have it for the tournament. I think I went into it like once, but it is a key card to make your Gear Gear Gears live again. Uh, but I was borrowing it from a friend, so I don't have it right here. But I just replaced it with another good card, so it, it, it doesn't really matter. Um, so we start off with three Gear Gear X. Um, I was running two, but then there were some scenarios where I really wanted the third one, so I figured, like, why not, you know? I'd rather have it than not have it. Uh, 101, um, Exciton, Abyss Dweller, Gaia Cowboy, uh, Black Strip of Corn. This card has been, like, a lot better lately, especially with the release of the hands and um, stuff like that. Uh, Crazy Box in case of Skill Drain, a Diamond Dire Wolf, Ragna Zero. Um, I also want to fit in the other uh, level four. I forgot what his, his his name is. The one that you put in defense and um, he does cool stuff. I forgot what it's called. It's, a, it's the rank four that was recently released. Um, and then we have rank threes. We have Soul Sewer Mountain, Alucard, uh, Engineer, and Zen Mains. And, of course, uh, your extra deck is player preference. Like, you don't have to play that those cards, but it's, like, the majority of them are cards that you want to play. And for the side deck, uh, two to bunk. If I had three, I'd probably play three, but this card is pretty expensive right now. But two is fine, you know, like, especially in the local meta. But uh, you draw um, draw it enough at two, so it's perfectly fine. We run three Noble Mana Cross Out, obviously very good against the mirror match. Um, if I had the 30 bunk, I'd probably cut the third uh, Noble Man for the third bunk, but it's perfectly fine where it is. Two Needle Sealing, uh, more removal, especially against things like Infernity. Uh, two Light Imprisoning Mirror, I really like this uh, against some of the more road decks like Bujin, uh, Light Sworn. So if you don't like it, you can cut it out. Obviously, side deck is player preference. Triple Maxi, staple side deck cards, one Soul Drain, one DeFi, and one MST in case you ever need it. Um, but yeah, guys, that is really all for my Gearia deck profile. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any suggestions, leave them down in the comments below. Hey guys, if you would like to stay in touch with me, please check out my social networking websites as well as multi-monster deals for awesome coverage and articles. But anyway, guys, I will see you later. Bye.